Bless y'all, bless y'all. Bro, TJ here. My question is, what is the end goal? What is the end goal for you sisters, women, um, women with children, women who are married uh, with children? What is the end goal when you separate yourself from your covering, from your husband? Now, this is not for everybody because I don't let, these days I like to talk to people who say they, they believe in the Bible because uh, people believe in it until you start reading the page, the, 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 the words, like right off the pages in the simplest form, not adding, not taking anything away, just reading and saying, this is what Jesus said. This is what the father said. This is what the prophet said. And no matter what version you read it in, It's never good enough. So I'm only talking to the people who say they believe in the Bible. So a woman who is married. What gives her. The right. Or the reasoning like what's in the word. You guys answer this in the comments. Let me know what is in there that says, OK, if your husband does this. Or if your husband says this, you can just leave. You can just walk away. Because I'm just trying to understand and try to figure out, okay, you guys get in your emotions. You, you know, feel how you feel and, you know, throw little tantrums like two-year-olds. And you do all these things and you tear the house up. You destroy a home. You destroy the lives of children. What's the end goal? Now, if there's no children involved, whatever. That's that's a whole separate story. But when there's young souls involved and women go and destroy the home out of their um, opinions, their emotions, what's the end goal? What do you tell the children? How do you explain to them why their father is gone. This is like one day the men wake up and we're just like, yeah, let's just tear the house down. Good men. I'm not, I can't speak for all men. Good men who truly love their wives, love their children. And would never destroy something that they're building. Because they're building it for a purpose. To be able to either pass it on to the next generation. To provide security, shelter, um, um, whatever else a man could provide for his family that he wants to provide and, and, and do his role. So we're just going to wake up one day and be like, yeah, I'm just tearing the whole thing down. Doesn't make sense to us, but women somehow, and this doesn't apply to you, right? If this doesn't apply to you, I'm not talking to you. If you never, if you never tore your house apart, this doesn't apply to you. So relax. But if you have light on a man, whether he's your husband or not, just so you can control him using the child, what's the end? What's the end game? What's the end goal? Because the world is not getting any better. Times aren't getting any better. It's clear as day. Just look at our president. Look at what's going on across the world. Look at what's going on here in America. If somebody can say, oh, TJ, it's, it's getting way better. I'm, I'm actually feeling great and secure about the future of our country. You a damn fool. It's that simple. But maybe somebody sees it that way, but I don't see that. So now when you women destroy your homes, remove your covering uh, forcibly, and take the children from their father. Who's who's going to protect you? If you watch a lot of these movies, they tell us exactly what they want this country to look like. It's usually murders, rioting, killings, raping, um, stealing. It's just 
it's mayhem. So now, when you as a woman remove your your husband out of your emotions, who protects you in those moments? Who protects the children? And if you have multiple children, are you yourself expecting to stop a group of four to five men coming in fully armed with bad intentions? Or are you now hoping and trusting that you have a new man that comes to your life and just say, oh, I'm here to save the day. But you can hope and trust that you know him well enough that he's not going to try to do anything to your children while they're sleeping or while you're sleeping. Can you make these guarantees as a woman? Can you make these guarantees? You get rid of one man, you bring another one in. And the one that comes in is now supposed to, I'm just going to love all these children with all my heart. Like they're mine and never do any harm to them. For some people, that is the case. But as times get worse and worse, what are the chances that you find a man that's righteous, that's going to do what the word says, all of what the word says to the best of his ability? That he's not going to come in and do wickedness or be wicked. So who protects the children then? I know I wouldn't harm my children in any way. I know other brothers who would never harm their children. I know the brothers who would have died for their wives and who will die for their wives. But when you remove the man, who dies for you? Who puts his life on the line? In those situations. I don't know. I'll be having these plans sometimes that I just can't really understand. Don't see where the success is going to happen. And okay, you take the father away. These ch the children grow up and be amazing citizens with no pains and hurts and emotional scarrings. Daughters growing up without their father. Where do you think they're going to find love from? Or start to seek out love and that affection. If they didn't have it from their father. What kind of anger and rage are the boys going to grow up in. Or the feminine spirits that they're going to have on them. Because they never saw what it looks like to have a father. So the only image they had is of a woman. Consistently a woman. And then you wonder why your son may be a little on the sweet side. Who knows? I'm, I'm just saying. This doesn't happen. It's not all scenarios all situations but these are possible things that have happened so as times get worse what do you do when you remove yourself from your covering society's trying to make it seem like it's sweet to be single oh i'm out here yo lo you only live once all right go on ahead choose that if that's what you want But I know the saints ain't going to make those choices. And some of them actually do. But smart sisters. They'll get covered. Y'all willing. The sisters who are already covered, they will remain covered. Because they understand where their safety and their protection is. And it's not within themselves. Who's going to lay their life up, lay down their life for you? For the sisters who have a covering. Hallelujah. For those who had them and removed themselves from the covering. I'm not clapping for you. I'm sorry. That was your choice. Your call. But again, I ask, what's the end game. You tell me.